Good morning, everybody. Okay, if you're if you're out in the uh, anteroom, please come on in. We're going to get started, and I want to greet everybody. But uh, before I get into this morning's greetings, I don't think we can have a gathering today um, without acknowledging the tragedy that occurred yesterday in Orlando. And especially when we're talking about ways of thinking about addressing human development challenges in more inclusive and comprehensive ways, we have to take a moment to acknowledge the tragedy that occurred and to sympathize with the people that were affected by it. So let me welcome you all, and welcome you to, the, um, to greater than the sum of its parts, the power of integration. This is FHI 360's first Integrated Development Summit. In thinking about this last night, I was thinking, are we actually at the summit? And I thought, maybe not. I, I'm not sure if we're at the summit, but I do know that we're much further up the trail than when we started this two years ago. I know we're past the base camp at this point. Um, when, we, when we started to examine the question of the viability and the usefulness of taking more comprehensive integrated approaches to developing solutions to human development challenges and to achieving development results. Um, I want to thank the Sherpas who have been leading us on this journey here at FHI 360. In particular, Greg Beck, who's the leader of the Integrated Development Initiative, Art Carlson, who's on the team, Trisha Petruni, who is our evidence guru, and all the members of the team that have worked to bring us together to this point. Today, I also want to thank, thank our supporters, the FHI Foundation and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, who've provided us with resources to get to this point and to bring together at this place, at this time, in this room, this amazing group of people. We have here today the experience and the intellectual firepower to have the possibility to jointly, jointly create a day of sharing and learning and connection around a topic that I'm sure is going to play a major role in how we talk about and think about and design and implement programs in the future in this era of the Sustainable Development Goals. Adapt or perish, or, or even worse, become irrelevant, I think accurately characterizes the reality that we face today. The pace of change is so fast and unrelenting that it forces us to constantly reevaluate and adapt our strategies, our systems, and our methods. I often hear people complain about change fatigue. And my only advice is that in the world we live in, we need to convert change fatigue into change enthusiasm and embrace it. And I believe the only way we can find the courage and the energy to confront the dramatic shifts in technology, in, in economies, in demographics, um, these cross-cutting waves that are, that are rolling across the world we live in 
is to look for more sophisticated solutions that take into account the complex, interrelated, interdependencies, and the multifaceted nature of people's lives, which is what brings us here together to talk about integrated development. Now, two years ago when we started this, our starting point was to acknowledge that integrated development is not a new thing. But we also recognize that the degree of the interrelated challenges that we see in the world today, along with the pace of global change, means that things are different than they were before. And that calls for us to find new ways of doing business, to find new ways of thinking about the problems and new ways of addressing the problems. And really, that's what we're here together today to talk about. We have some fabulous resources here today. We have Ben Ramalingam from the Institute of Development Studies at the University of Sussex. I was talking to him a, a few minutes ago and telling him that IDS has been a leader in critical analysis of international development and foreign assistance for, for my entire career in an institute that I've looked up to and and um, look to for new cutting edge ideas. And Ben is, is one of the people who's bringing in this generation those new cutting edge ideas and he'll be sharing some of those with us a little later. He's the author of a book called Aid on the Edge of Chaos. And if you haven't read that book, I, I encourage you to do so. If not for the really thoughtful look at where the practice of international development is today, then read it for the cartoons, because it has the best cartoons lampooning the development industry that I've seen in a long time. Uh, to get us started this morning, I'm thrilled to introduce Greg Beck, my colleague and the director of FHI 360's Integrated Development Initiative, and my friend Tony Pipa, who is the Chief Strategy Officer at USAID. Before taking that position, he was seconded from USAID to the State Department where he was the Sherpa, or the lead negotiator for the US government for the Sustainable Development Goals. He's one of the most thoughtful and insightful voices on issues of international development and foreign assistance in the US government today. Tony, we're thrilled to have you here. The two of you are going to get us going with a conversation. Join me in welcoming Greg and Tony.